supine prone shoulder transition. This exercise is a progression for the shoulder roll. So if you haven't done the shoulder roll yet, go back to the shoulder roll, feel comfortable with that, and only then come to this exercise. First step would be placing your legs above your head slightly to one side, moving your weight to your shoulder and bringing your pelvis down towards the ground. So first you want to put your legs on the ground above your head and here you can see I move them slightly to the right. So I step to the right, transition my weight onto my shoulder, bending my knees and bringing my pelvis closer to the ground. I don't touch the ground and then I reverse the motion bringing my pelvis right above my shoulder blades and slowly controlled back to the ground. Pay close attention to what I do with my head and opposite hand. I want to bring my head under my hand and back through. That's really important. If you don't bring your head back through, first of all, it might hurt your neck. Second of all, you won't manage returning to the same direction or same pos position you've been in. You'll start rotating. That's a common mistake. It'll happen at the beginning. So you really want to work on reversing the motion exactly from where you came from with the head and the rest of the body. The second transition is about moving your weight and distributing it evenly on your chest and your legs. So after you've passed over, you straighten your legs and you bring both your chests onto the ground and reverse out. It is surprising how hard it is to reverse out once you have your weight distributed evenly on your right and left side of the body. So this is a crucial stage to know where you're leading your body. Now a common mistake is that the pelvis falls sideways. You really want to keep it as much as you can close to the center, so above your shoulder and above your head. Just work this. You can work on this for at least two, three weeks. Pay attention how I'm pushing and helping from my opposite hand and inserting my head under my folded elbow. This is super important. The third and last stage will be rotating through one shoulder to a prone position and then through the other to a supine position. Use your head as a guide in this exercise. If your head will rotate in and out properly, all the rest of the body will just fall in place and you'll keep the direction. So make sure you're shifting your weight to your shoulder, your head is inserting under your arm, you're helping by pushing from your opposite arm, especially on the way back, and the head is always leading the motion.